information about peeling that you need to know. Peeling is a procedure to remove the outermost layer of skin to stimulate the growth of new skin layers. The goal is to make the skin smoother and brighter, especially on the face, neck and arms. Peeling is done by applying a chemical solution to the skin area to be treated. The chemical solution will make the old skin layer peel off so that a new skin layer can grow. Peels can be done as a single procedure or in combination with other skin care methods. This procedure can actually be easily found in various aesthetic clinics or in hospitals. However, you should choose a peeling procedure carried out under the supervision of a doctor. Peeling type Based on the depth of the skin being treated, peeling is divided into three types. Here is the explanation. Shallow peels light chemical peels shallow peeling is done to remove dead skin cells on the outermost layer of skin epidermis this type of peeling is generally used to treat uneven skin tone dry skin acne and fine lines shallow peeling uses a combination of chemical solutions in the form of alpha hydroxy acids and beta hydroxy acids such as salicylic acid glycolic acid or maleic acid Medium peeling, medium chemical peeling. Peeling is being done to remove dead skin cells from the epidermis and the top layer of the middle layer of skin, dermis. This type of peeling is used to treat acne scars, facial wrinkles, and uneven skin tone. Peeling is using a chemical solution of trichloroacetic acid or glycolic acid. Deep peeling, deep chemical peeling. Deep peeling is done to remove dead skin cells from the epidermis layer to the deeper dermis layers. This type of peel is used to treat deeper facial wrinkles, skin damage from sun exposure, scars, and precancerous cell growth. Deep peeling uses a chemical solution of trichloroacetic acid or phenol which can penetrate the dermis layer of the patient's skin. Purpose and Indications of Peeling Peeling is generally used to treat or overcome the following skin problems. Mild to moderate acne types. Acne scars. Fine lines or wrinkles. Hyperpigmentation. Black patches, melasma. Scar. Sebaceous hyperplasia, namely sebum trapping in the sebaceous glands. Uneven skin tone. Seborrheic keratosis. Actinic keratosis Dilated pores Milia Warts Peeling warnings and prohibitions Consult with your doctor before you plan to undergo peeling. Doctors may delay or not perform peeling procedures in patients with the following conditions. Suffering from herpes or other infectious diseases Have experienced inflammation of the skin such as psoriasis and atopic eczema. Have ever had scar tissue, such as keloids or atrophic scars, either in yourself or in your family. Taking oral medications that cause sensitive skin or acne medications, such as isotretinoin, in the past six months. Suffering from skin cancer, for example melanoma skin cancer. Have a history of heart disease, kidney disease, or liver disease have open sores on the skin, are pregnant, because it can cause defects in the fetus. To get the desired results, shallow peels need to be done every one to four weeks. Meanwhile, for moderate peeling and deep peeling, therapy can be repeated every six to 12 months. Before peeling. There are several things that before peeling. There are several things that the doctor will do before carrying out the peeling procedure, namely Checking the patient's medical history, 
including diseases that have been suffered, drugs that are currently being consumed, and cosmetic procedures that have been undertaken. Checking the patient's skin condition, including skin color and thickness, on the skin area to be treated with peeling. Explain about the peeling procedure, the risks that may occur, the time for the healing process, and the results that the patient may receive. Meanwhile, preparations that need to be made by patients before undergoing peeling include Avoid sun exposure and use sunscreen regularly, to reduce the risk of uneven skin tone after the peeling procedure. Using skin lightening drugs, hydroquinone, or retinoid creams, to reduce the risk of side effects after peeling and help the healing process, according to the doctor's advice. Avoiding cosmetic procedures, such as massages and body scrubs, or waxing the area to be peeled, at least a week before the peel. Invite a family member or friend to accompany you and drive you home, because the doctor may use a sedative during the peeling procedure.